It's a brand new week, which means a brand new memory challenge. And this week's memory challenge is to memorize all the bones in the human body. So there's 206 bones in the human body. But the good news is that there are multiples of bones, right? Your ribs, your fingers. So you don't have to memorize 206 different pieces of information. But the bad news is that this information is medical, right? And so, of course, with medical information, you have the weird medical terminology. And it's pretty much another language you have to learn, right? And so don't feel bad if you can't pronounce some of the words. As long as you know that you memorize that bone, that's all that matters, okay? So like, you know, metacarpus, um, trapezium, trapezium, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and so, you know, if, you, if you're a perfectionist, you know, you might have to Google some of these words and just make sure you pronounce them correctly. I know when I learn information, I want to make sure I can say it correctly just in case I have to. And so, you know, it may just take a little bit longer because you're trying to get the right pronunciation. But as long as you know what the bones are, that's all that really matters, okay? And so the main challenge is just, just to memorize all the bones. So I'm going to include the link to this website so you can get all the bones so you can memorize them. But the extra challenge is to know all the bones to the specific area. So if someone said, okay, the cranial and facial bones, what are they? You can just list them off. Hand bones, you can just list them off. Because if you just memorize all the bones, you can just list them all off, right? Like, like this bone, this bone, this bone. But you might not really know where those bones belong to. And so the extra challenge is to be able to identify all the bones in a specific group. And it's really nice because um, this page has, I guess, the groupings uh, bolded. So that's going to be a lot of help. So yeah, so I thought this would be a fun challenge to do because, you know, it's a little bit different. It's medical. But also, if you do the extra challenge, you're trying to get into like the diagram type stuff. Now, be able to like list all the bones to one group. So if someone says okay, head bones, you're like, okay, da 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 da, which is pretty useful, right? And so um, this is probably more useful if you're in the medical field. But also, it's a cool trick and information just to know, um, just on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you can tell someone, hey, I know all the bones in the human body. Check this out. Boom, 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 boom. And you're like, wow, this person is genius. And so. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I think I did learn the bones one time a long time ago, um, but it was in a different way. So I want to um, relearn it in a more effective and efficient manner. Uh, and I don't think I've reviewed when I learned it the first time. So, you know, it's really, really foggy about all the bones. But, yeah, so I'm going to be suffering along with you this week. And so, yeah, so hopefully, you know, you take this challenge because you know just a lot of fun just to keep expanding your mind expand your knowledge because who knows if you ever need to know this information you might because this is a little bit more useful than our last week's challenge you know memorizing pi and so you just never know when information will be useful so get started on this challenge and all the luck to you